Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tower. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 ARM on Parallel 17 on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So this tutorial video is going to replace all the previous tutorial videos I have and it's going to take you from a fresh Apple Silicon Mac all the way to Windows 11 ARM. So no other tutorials should be required. However, please refer to my Parallels article on the Apple Gaming Wiki website. If any instructions are updated, it'll be listed on this article. So the first thing that you need to do is to download a copy of Parallels. So I do encourage you to please click the link at the top of the description. This is an affiliate link that will help support the channel and it'll take you to the Parallels website. So just click on download free trial here. And all we need to do now is to press the blue download now button and press OK here. So once we have our install Parallels DMG downloaded, what I'm going to do is to mount it here and then double click on this and then click open here. And it's going to start a process of downloading the Parallels desktop software. So what we do next is type in a password and press OK. And then we're going to get to our install assistant window here. This shows that this version of Parallels 17 is fully compatible with the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So all I need to do now is to press continue. And now it's going to be looking for a Windows VHDX file. So what we need to do now is to minimize this. And then we're going to use the link for the Windows 10 ARM Insider Preview. And once this page loads, you'll see that you'll need an account in order to become a member of the Windows Insider programs. This is because Windows ARM is still in an Insider preview. So in order to access this page correctly, we need to log into a Microsoft account. So if we click on here, then we can enter our Microsoft account. If you don't have a Microsoft account already, you can just create one here. So I'm going to log into my account now, and then I'm going to enter my password and sign in. If you're not already a Windows Insider member, then you'll be asked to accept some terms and conditions, and then you'll be able to get to this page here. So once we're here, we can now see this button here, which allows us to download the build 21354. So if you notice here, this is actually Windows 10. At the time of recording, there is no Windows 11 VHDX file. We have to use the Windows 10 one. So I'm just gonna click on here and then allow this to download. So this is a 9.1 gigabyte file, so it's quite large, so just let that complete. So once your VHDX file is downloaded, we can go back to the Parallels window. So we're now we're going to go back to Parallel 17 and press continue here. And it's actually found our Windows 10 Insider Preview VHDX file. If it hasn't found yours, you can just click choose manually and then locate the file. Now I'm going to press continue. And now we can select our primary use case. So I'm going to select games only. That should unlock the full performance of the virtual machine and select the correct number of calls and also the correct amount of RAM. Press continue here. I'm going to rename mine Windows. And now I'm going to press create. So we're just going to let that create the virtual machine for us. Just wait a little bit of time. So this version of Windows 10 ARM has already updated itself to 21390. And what we want to be able to do now is to install Windows 11 ARM. So there are several methods of doing this. These instructions are going to be listed on the Parallels article on the Apple Gaming Wiki website. I'll leave a link to this in the description. So what I'm going to do now is to show you the registry method. So what I'm going to do now is to open the Windows Insider settings. I'm going to click on the Start menu here and then type in the word Insider. Then we're going to open up the Windows Insider program settings. And what we want to be able to do is to link our Windows Insider account. So that's just our Microsoft account, which is already enrolled in the Windows Insider program. So now I'm going to link my Windows Insider account, which is simply a Microsoft account. So I'm going to click here and then select the Microsoft account here. Type in my username and password. Click Next. So in order to make use of the Windows Insider program, we have to turn the diagnostic and feedback settings on. So I'm just going to toggle this option here. I'm going to press back to go back to the Windows Insider program. And now we're able to switch between the different channels. If I click here, what I can see is that I only have the release preview channel here. As you can tell, it's not letting us upgrade straight to Windows 11. It's not letting us choose the dev build, which is the one which is going to allow us to upgrade to Windows 11. So at this stage, we have a couple of options. So the first option is the registry change. So I'm going to click on the start menu here, type in the word regedit, click yes here. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for this set of instructions here. I'm going to be following these. And if these change in the future, I'll be updating this wiki article. So here I'm going to open up the HK local machine, I'm going to go into software, Microsoft and then Windows self host UI and then selection and we're going to change the UI branch so I'm going to double click on that and type in the word dev and press OK and then we're going to do the same fix on the applicability section here I'm going to go to the branch name double click on this and type in the word dev and then just make sure that the rest are the same so we've got content type mainline and then ring key external so once that's done we're going to restart the virtual machine so once it's restarted, I'm going to click the Start menu. I'm going to type in the word Insider. Enter. 
So you can just ignore the warning sign there. The most important thing is that we're actually in the dev channel. So in the Windows Update section, I'm going to click Check for Updates. And it's going to start downloading Windows 11 inside a preview. So just let that start updating. So now that this update has finished downloading, all we need you to do now is press Restart now. So Parallels Tools has just installed and we're just going to restart so that this installation is complete. So we've now booted into the Windows 11 desktop. I can click on the start menu here. I'm going to type in about to see the version of the operating system that I have. If I scroll down and click on about here, then I can see that we're on the 22000.100. This is not the latest version. So I'm going to check the insider options here. So I'm going to click on Windows Insider Program Settings. And here it's showing me that we have a build that's available, but our computer does not meet the requirements. And this is due to a TPM 2.0 issue. So what I'm going to do is to shut down this virtual machine. Shut down here. Then I'm going to look at the control center here and then press the cog button here, go to the hardware tab. And then because the virtual machine shut down, I can add a TPM chip. I'm going to add the TPM module. So this is one of those hardware requirements. This is actually only available on the pro edition of Parallels, not the standard edition. So just be aware of that. I'm going to press continue now. So once we're logged in again, I'm going to go back to my insider settings. Now it's checking for updates and when we can do the latest Windows build. So here we are, we've got some cumulative updates and then the 120 build. So I'm going to download this now and get absolutely up to date with the latest dev channel build. So basically once Windows 11 is fully installed and updated, you can basically treat this as a normal Windows computer. Windows 11 ARM has x64 bit emulation. So it means that it can in theory run most of the games and applications that you're able to do on a normal Windows PC. So the performance and compatibility of games is quite hit or miss for parallels on the M1. However, I have compiled a full list of games, which I've listed on the Apple Gaming Wiki website. So you can see that there are a few hundred games which I've tested, which work pretty well at the moment. Also, if you check out the Apple Gaming Wiki YouTube channel, I'll be posting up new gameplay footage of Parallels games. For example, we just managed to get Street Fighter V working on Parallels and it works pretty well. Also, if you'd like to learn how to pair a Bluetooth controller, for example, the Xbox One wireless controller, then please follow the link in the description or click on the top right hand corner of the screen now. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. There's quite a lot of work left to be done on Parallels on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. And as you can see, the performance of various games is okay, not necessarily perfect. However, it does open up the possibility of a lot more compatibility, especially with gaming as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.